prime numbers. These are numbers with only two factors. One and the number itself. Prime numbers have only two factors. Examples. Examples. Two. Three. Five. I'm Mari Tistro of Feel Korean TV. Welcome to our channel and enjoy watching the different videos and learning at the same time. In this video, we will talk about the prime and composite numbers. Identifying the prime and composite numbers is very important in finding the greatest common factor, the least common multiple, and in solving fractions. Now let us know the prime and composite numbers. When we see prime numbers, these are numbers with only two factors. One and the number itself. Examples. Examples. Two, three, five, seven. 11. These numbers have only two factors. Factors 1 and 2. 1 times 2, 2. No more other factors. And then same with 3. 1 and 3 only. 1 and 5. 1 and 7. 1 and 11. So 2 factors only. Only to 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. No more other numbers. One and the number itself. Now let's proceed to the composite numbers. Composite numbers have more than two factors. More than two factors. Examples. Four. Six. Eight, nine, ten. These are lower numbers which are composite. Four has more than two factors. The factors are one and two and four. One, two, and four. One times four, four. Two times two, four. So one, two, three. More than two factors. That is composite number then one two three and six there are four factors six six has four factors one two three four more than two so composite numbers so same these numbers they have more than two factors just keep this in your mind all even numbers Except two are composite numbers. All except two. Yes. Because two, because two is the only even number which is prime number. Yes, prime. And two is the smallest prime number. Huh? Only even number which is prime is 2. All even numbers are composite numbers. And then 1, 1 is a special, a special number. 1 is a special number. It is not a prime number, neither a composite number. It is a special number. Not a prime number, not a composite number. Now, let us have bigger numbers for us to identify whether composite or prime numbers. This one, 75. Is it a prime or composite number? You can apply the divisibility rule here. So, 
it ends with 5 divisible by 5. So, automatic, composite number. Composite number. Because the prime number has only two factors, 1 and the number itself. Since 75 has 5 as a factor, automatic, this is composite number. 150. Okay. 150, it ends with 0, divisible by 5, and then automatic composite number. That's it. And then, this one. 121. 121, can we apply the divisibility rule? Yes, we can. Okay. 1 plus 2 plus 1. 4, not divisible by 3, 2, 9. If we double 1, it is 2 minus, or 2 minus 2, 10. Not divisible by 7. Then, let us check whether this number is divisible by 11. 1 minus 2 plus 1. That is the rule for divisibility rule. Okay. 1 minus 2, negative 1, negative 1 plus 1 equals 0. Ah, this is a composite. This is divisible by 11, so this is a composite number. Okay, this one, 97. 97 is a prime number. Prime number. Another, 131. Now, let us apply the divisibility rule for us to determine whether it is prime or composite number. Not divisible by 2, let's add. Not divisible by 3, not divisible by 4, not, not divisible by 5, by 6, by 7, double, 2, not divisible by 7, not divisible by 8, not divisible by 9, 10, for 11, 1, minus 3, negative 2. Negative 2 plus 1 equals 1. Not divisible by 11. And it is also not divisible by 12. Therefore, I can say that this number is a prime number. Okay. So, I just apply the divisibility rule so that I can determine quickly whether a number is a prime or composite number. Another tip for you there are 25 prime numbers from 2 to 100 here are the prime numbers from 2 to 100 if you memorize the smaller prime numbers that is very much helpful to you in solving fractions getting gcf and finding lcm no need to memorize all, but at least the lower numbers, below 30, because that are usually used in finding GCF and LCM. Now, to test your learnings about prime and composite number, tell me what kind of number is 351. Just write your answer in the comment box below. That's the end of our lesson for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned in this video. Please subscribe in our channel and continue learning with me. See you again. God bless.